everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so in today's video while we are waiting for artverse and on monday um it's going to be a choice fate Core and actually the new fate core for barnavas just dropped while we actually have that pass because i won't be pulling for those banners i think um i'm going to think about the blue fate Cory if i'm going to pull for that but definitely for the Bernavas banner i won't because i'm actually if you can see in my screen i actually have 18,835 zes and i'm saving it for a couple of heroes like um uh, blue fc garf and uh i'm actually waiting for um what do you call this for fc dorka so those are actually what I'm saving for. I'm not going to tempt myself into pulling for the blue Fate Core banner. I do hope so. But I will give you guys right now an update on my account and see how I've gotten so far. By the way, I have turned one year last June 5 in terms of playing Exos Heroes. So again, it's a one year anniversary for me. I, I am still here. Um, and more or less, I'm looking forward to another year of Exos Heroes. Uh, moving forward to year two, uh, let's move on to my account review. Okay, so let's start with the core that I'm bringing. So if you can see here, FC Rudley is already at level 100 because I am actually, you know, I was actually building him up to level 100. Next would be ideal would be Garf. To level 100 uh maggie annie probably next and schmidt would be next ideally because they're actually the core of my pvp team so they are for pvp and more or less i just switch them up sometimes i do bring fc rara sometimes with this team i switch out maggie for for fc for fc rara and also i sometimes bring fc ramji so again those are my core for pvp um again annie i haven't brought that much into my pvp team because of the meta and because of again she's a liability on defense i would have you know i would have uh, brought maggie or rara for the back for um for the shield for the first guardians and of course i would bring garf in the front together with ramji in the front so more or less that is my my pvp team and more or less the rest if you see here um of the, the higher ranked or the higher combat power heroes that i have so janai is usually in my second team janai um you have their fc adams and I have here where is FC Shell? She's missing. She's here. So they are usually in my second team for tag PvP, along with um, sometimes I bring Rara with them. And the other one, I forgot who it is that I bring with my tag PvP for second team. But more or less, those are the heroes from my tag PvP team. So again not much in the leveling up stage for the current heroes because they're about to be max and their their leech potential is actually almost max as well i am actually looking forward to building a um, couple of heroes here so let us look forward i'm actually looking forward to fc zeon or fc awakened zeon's uh, fc We've been teased about this and i'm looking forward for him to have his fc to i have to pair him with uh with schmidt because i have leveled up their signature force already so it's a shame that i won't level him up then also i'm looking forward for fc garf as well um that is what i'm what i'm looking forward to also i am leveling up currently fc naomi because FC Naomi, I'm actually preparing already for Arcverse and also for the arrival of FC Dorka. That is why I have him as my pet project right now. And with the with the recent um, core reverse of FC Jin, I'm actually planning to also take FC Jin to Awakened Status to join the Storage Republic because, again, these are the nations that I'm focusing on. So you, I have primarily Raced Red. Secondary would be Stories. 
Um, and actually together with Race to Red is Vagabond because I've actually finished their signature force. Later we'll take a look at the status of all my signature forces but more or less uh, these are the nations that I'm looking at and after stories I'd probably go with Greenland because again there are key, um, key heroes here for my PvP teams that belong in Greenland and also I'm trying to build Sewa. I, I'm actually preparing her uh, where is she? Where is she? So uh, here. So I'm actually building her up. Um, awaiting for her FC. So I'm expecting it. So again, Vagabond is crucial to to my you know to my PVP, especially for Schmidt. And what else? So more or less, that's it for me. Um, key other other key heroes that I'd like to level up. So I actually acquired. Um, what they call this blue fate Correra. I got her up to plus two, and uh, what else? My core. So, I think that's it for the core heroes that I have that I'm actually um doing. Uh, what they call this that I'm leveling up. Some of them um a niche potential, like for example for for FC Naomi. I'm actually still. Uh, uh, leveling up uh, his uh, Anish potential. I'm not finished yet. Next would be FC Jin. Uh, what, what else? Who else? Um, I think I would have to mention FC Jin as well. He is a project of mine as well. I'm not finished uh, with this Anish potential yet. So I am actually lacking a lot of a lot of tokens or a lot of currency for Anish potential, but. Again, I can't be too greedy. I have to spread it out. So while I'm waiting for FC Dorka, I'm going to build FC Naomi because again, for my FC Dorka, she has been well built already since I got her. Her niche potential is already built up. I'm, I'm just waiting for her FC. So I hope she gets it soon, whether it's in a month or probably I hope doesn't reach two months. So more or less these are the core units that i'm working on and i have been performing good in tag and in um pvp pvp i've been i've been reaching grand every every week okay so for pvp i'm a bit delayed in terms of gameplay it's actually friday today so i have two more days to reach grand i've been very forgetful about doing pvp already and doing several battles in the day um, I got stuck at the bottom and I would actually I'm currently working my way up to master so again for my teams These are my teams for PvP. Let's go to teams So more or less this, this is actually my main team that what I've been doing uh, or what I've been carrying so both FC Rera, uh, FC Maggie, Annie uh, Ga uh, Radley and Garf are here. This one type that I'd like to bring also for letter B, this is actually what what I'd like to bring sometimes as well. So FC Schmidt is here and FC Ramji, and for A, I haven't used this much. Um, usually Annie has been out of this picture, but these are the most flexible teams that I've been using for PvP as of this week. And let's go through my signature force. Oh, before signature force. Let us go first to the buffs that I have. So for Blue Fate Core, um, I actually have one copy of FC Ratio, which I got from I don't know what pull, but this is this was a very lucky pull. Um, buffs for Relan are good. Buffs for attack type is actually good as well i think this is already at plus five i think um fusion uh what they call this uh baraka is actually at fusion five as well uh yao is at fusion one and blue fc rare is actually at fusion two so more or less i'm still working my way and i'm still thinking if i'm going to pull for Yao for my Estoris Republic. I'm, I'll have to think about it for a bit. Probably spend around two to three pulls, but after that, I'm going to hold my Zest 
so that I could pity the next banner that I would want to choose if it's a gold banner, especially if it's for Garf, the Blue Fate Core, and also for FC Dorka. Those are the only two that I'm waiting as of now. For Core Memory, I am actually lacking um, FC Bernavas. So again, for those who have um, plus 5 FC Bernavas out there, I am actually willing, you know, I'm actually wanting, or not willing, wanting to add somebody who could be my ally for Bernavas plus 5 fusion. So if you are out there and if you want to add me as well, then just send a comment. Okay, so for signature force, let's go to the big menu for signature force so that you would have an idea on where I am. Let's start with Linombe. Linombe, I have finished um, the first level. Second level, I am in right now, but this is not my priority. So as you can remember, my Wasted Red is already full. So I'm just waiting for level 4 and my Vagabond is actually full already. So been working hard at uh, getting Signature Force. And the priorities that I have now for Signature Force would be 3. Would be Astoris. Astoris, I'm actually finished with the second level. I'm at the third already because I want to finish this. I want to develop a stories as one one that can compete because again nobody uses a stories and it would be helpful because Artverse is coming soon that I develop a stories republic. So again I'm at level three, developing level three. The next signature force that I am wanting to develop is actually Brun. Because again I want more diversity in my lineup, so I'm at level two dash two so going to look for another copy of dorka for this one two dash two and i think my greenland is also up two dash two so again i'm not doing bad with signature force i just need a couple of copies to finish them out so more or less astorius run and greenland are the signature forces that i'm working on especially for astorius because i'd like to finish that out but again I am lucky that I was able to get my signature force as high as they can. Um, so far, what I haven't worked on is um, Saint West, which is only at the first level. At I'm at 1.1. 1 .1. So again, I'm not. I'm. I'm not. You know, I'm not developing the signature force as of the moment. Maybe in the future. So who knows. So more or less, again, that is the state of my account for after a year, more or less. A year playing a lot of grinding every day. I think I haven't missed a day playing Exos Heroes and I don't plan to miss a day playing Exos Heroes because again, I still do high hopes for this game. Um, okay, guys, so that is my update for you in terms of my account progress and my account review. This is for the one year of my account or of my main account. So if you have reached this uh, far in this video, please do consider subscribing because this will help my channel a lot. And also don't forget to click the bell icon so that you don't miss an Exos Heroes episode from my channel. Also guys, if you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. And what are you looking forward to in the next few weeks or months of Exos Heroes? Put them down below. Guys, take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.